Hello everyone, this is Rocky and thank you so much for joining my channel. So today we are talking all about fragrance. And this isn't something that I normally do. I've recently just gotten into fragrance maybe a few years ago. You know, kind of dabbling here on the sale rack and picking up something there. And now I'm like full on into it. Today I want to go through some of the things that I just got and also talk about the performance of some of the things that I've had for a while. Let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to do is talk about um, my tried and true fragrance, um, Jo Malone Red Roses. This is probably um, my first time getting like um, what I consider to be super expensive perfume. So once I learned dabbling with oils and other fragrances that I was really, really digging the smell of roses. I went ahead and got the um, the Jo Malone Red Roses because it smells literally like a fresh bouquet of fresh, fresh cut regular roses. So I was enamored with this. Um, this would this became my everyday scent. What I will say about this is a couple of things. One, I think that I might have kept this a bit too long. I don't know how long you can keep this, but with the pandemic, um, I wasn't wearing this every day. And this is a, th what is it, 3.4 ounces. This is a lot to get through. So I don't feel like the original scent or the performance of this is is that great like when i first put it on um roses all all around but then come midday it starts to get rancid so it has a very very faint pink hue at this point so i feel like that's an indicator too that i've had it too long so it gets a bit rancid by the end of the day and for me for this one rancid smells like urine <laughs> So I really can't wear this unless I'm like starting out with it late in the day and I know I'm only going to be out for a little while but I don't look at all of this I don't want it to go to waste so I'm not really sure what to do about this the other one I want to talk about is my MFK a la rose this was a gift from a friend it had three vials in it it's a uh, you know MFK a la rose EDP and it had three vials in it but when it arrived one was broken so i literally just finished off one of the vials i have one vial left i've only been wearing it sort of for special occasions i didn't want to you know, not waste it because if you're wearing it you're not wasting it but you know what i mean i kind of wanted to just wear it so i can you know smell nice for special occasions so i am a bit nervous that if i let this sit as long as you know for a long time like i let this sit it might degrade as well so i I, that's how I ended up even using this one spray up because I don't want it to go bad so I am going to start to wear the second one but when I tell you baby how good this smells is worth the investment the MFK a la rose is the bomb.com I think that just made me sound old the next thing I want to talk about is um, I've dabbled in sort of uh, replica or, you know, um, I don't know, not necessarily bootleg, but replica um, scents before. I started out with um, waft.com and waft.com is one where you can kind of sort of personalize your scent. Fast forward to I don't know how much longer, I ran into this company on my um, social media feed called Dossier. And I don't know if you can see that. Dossier is a company that literally does replica. They don't take your advice or anything. You know, they can they can point you to some fragrances that they are, they've they replicated based on what you like. So if I say I like floral, they'll tell me all the floral kinds they have. But they're not making anything from scratch for you. So no unique scents just for you. However, if you were interested in dabbling in a product or um, a fragrance that is really really expensive but you're not sure if you want to make that leap with the real thing you can get from dossier a replica scent at a fraction of the price and when i mean a fraction it, i mean like 10 20 30 percent of the original price of the real thing now there may be some slight differences I don't really know because I haven't like gone between real and fake at all so I only know how these perform but I know they smell really good I'll go in the store and you know check against the real thing and it's been great so I support condone you know all the things recommend that this is a really great step into trying a scent without paying full price now I enjoyed the Oriental Vetiver, which is a replica of the Bayredo Baldrafrique, and 
I really like this. My husband really likes it, so I decided I was gonna buy another one. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a little card. If you don't like these, you can spray a little on and you can bring it back if you don't, you can send it back and get your money back if you don't like it. For the things that you send back, they don't throw it in the garbage, they donate it to charities. So this is, this is what it looks like brand new. So I got this, I can't remember how long ago I got this, but you can see how it's maybe a fourth of the bottle is left. So I needed to re-up, I got another full bottle here. I really, really like that. And because I really enjoyed that experience, I decided I wanted to play around with a few other scents. And I did get a few more um, from Dossier. Um, the next one that I got from Dossier is um, a replica of Joe Malone Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt Cologne. I did compare this to the Joe Malone in the store, and it is spot on. Apparently, this is their uh, number one seller, and it, and it goes both ways. It is a unisex scent. This is a bit different than what I would normally wear, but I wanted to try something different. I wanted to push myself outside of my com comfort zone. It doesn't smell bad, it, but my only concern is that once I talked to the sales associate the other day, and she told me this was their number one fragrance, I was like, I don't want to smell like everybody else. <laughs> So this may be my go to the gym scent or whatever the case may be something that I'm not trying to impress anybody with because I don't want to smell like everybody else. But this may be a good, you know, I don't really care. I'm running to the grocery store, but I want to spray something on type of perfume. So um, Joe Malone Wood Sea Sage, they called it Woody Sage is what they call is what Dossier called it. So I smelled it, I liked it, so I was happy to keep this one. Also, I wanted to try, remember I told you guys that I smelled the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540? I tr smelled the extrait version, which is a more, um, is a different version. I think it's more powdery and more almondy than the regular Baccarat Rouge 540. So. I just wanted to try, which I did in the store, the regular one, and that one suited me more. It does have this almond oil in it that gives it a fruity note. There isn't, I don't know if there's fruit in it. There is orange blossom, which isn't orange, orange. Orange blossom, there's plum in here. Um, those are the fruity-ish things, but orange blossom isn't fruity. Um, and I... I wanted to give this one a shot and because you know everyone says how good and how classic the Baccarat Rouge 540 is so I wanted to give it a shot um, and I bought this. This uh, they call it ambery saf saffron. I love the smell of amber. It's very sexy in evening. We'll have to see how this goes and if I like this maybe I'll consider buying the real no, I won't. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to consider buying the real MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm not. If I like it, I'm going to buy another one of these. And then I bought another one. So you get a discount if you buy more than one. So that's why you probably wonder, like, why is it every time she buys these, she buys a shit ton of them? Because you get a discount and it's worth it. So this one is called Floriental Tuberose. This one is my least favorite. There is something in this that I think I don't like. I was sitting and, and talking with a sales associate yesterday at Joe Malone, and I think we've narrowed it down to the fact that I may not like musk as a base note. And there's something like kind of bitter smelling about it as it when once it dries down. This one is a replica of Diptyque Du Son EDP. And the notes in here, orange blossom, rose, the rose is what got me. The rose has daffodil, tuberose, musk, and other things. So um, I think the musk is something that I may not like. And this one was my husband's least favorite, but he didn't think it stunk. To me, it gives me um, uh, just, just stepped out of the shower, but like soap smell. It gives me floral and soap. <laughs> Which is a very fresh smelling thing. So I think it's great for summer. Like, you you know, starting your day out in the morning, ch -ch -ch, you just exude, I've just taken a shower. But um, I don't know. We'll have to see how this wears. I haven't put it on my skin to try it yet. I just sprayed it on. I, actually, the best thing I do is, like, I try these on the card. The cards are paper. And I just spray a little bit and smell it on the card. Um, I think that I'm going to go ahead and give this one a shot. See if I like it. 
Um, but yeah, Diptyque Du Son EDP is the fragrance and they call it Floriental Tuberose is what they call it. And the last thing I wanted to share with you, you kept hearing me say I spoke to a sales associate, spoke to a sales associate. I went by Joe Malone and picked up something new. I actually showed this to you guys when I went, I found myself downtown uh, I don't know. After right, right when the world opened back up, I took it, took a risk and went downtown, and I wanted to smell Joe Malone's new summer fragrances. So they just restocked on those fragrances. It's a floral range of, of of fragrances. There were three. Two of them I really didn't care for. One of them really made me feel just awesome. And that one is the Yellow Hibiscus Cologne. I'll have to do a cutaway. It's hard to see this one. But this one is the Yellow Hibiscus Cologne. And it smells amazing. This is just one ounce. I plan to travel with this one. And then the sales associate decided, because I mentioned the Wood Sea Sage when we were talking. Remember I was telling you she told me this was their most popular. So she gave me a sample of the Wood Sea Sage and the English Pear and Freesia. I absolutely love this one too. I remember I wore this. I went to go see a client um, show a property and I had this on and it took everything out of this dude not to jump my bones out there because he just kept sniffing me like, oh my gosh, what do you have on? Oh, you smell amazing. He could not concentrate on anything I was saying because I smelled so amazing with this English pear freesia. <laughs> and my husband was like, D did he not... Doesn't he recognize, like, I'm just right here? I mean, he was all over me. So anyway, that being said, if that's the type of reaction you want, I would recommend the Joe Malone <laughs> English Paraphrasia, but buyer beware because people will be sniffing on you. And then this Wood Sea Sage, she wanted me to try this one because, you know, she didn't know I had the replica at home, but it smells spot on. It smells just, they smell just alike. So I have these two. Um, if I wanted to kind of take these with me when I travel to switch things up a bit, that would be awesome to do. But I have this with, and of course they always like to, you know, kill, kill trees for no reason and give you all this, all this packaging, all of this paper. Like I, it's, I was like, this is not a gift. And she was like, but you're treating yourself. You should have the unboxing experience, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, no, it's not necessary. But anyway, she insisted. So there you have it. Today was a scent journey. I wanted to tell you where I've been and where I'm going. So we have all of the, the Joe Malone things here. Have my MFK a la Rose we talked about. All of these dossiers. Had a really good time trying this new scent with Joe Malone. Listen, my journey has just begun. There are so many that I really want to get. Again, the Parfum du Marly de Delina is still on my list. I went in there and sprayed myself down again with it. I just can't make the leap and, and spend the $320, $340 for a bottle of it. It's a big bottle, but I just can't make the leap and buy all of that. You know, just... Oh on fragrance i can't do it so um maybe i'll win the lottery maybe someone will gift it to me i don't know but i am so in love with that fragrance so that's that's one that i'm eyeballing um and then there's a there are a couple others that i really really enjoy that you may see make up an appearance here in the coming months so anyway that being said that's the end of this. I don't have any more fragrance to share with you. Let me know what your favorites are. Um, let me know what you've been considering, even if you haven't purchased them. Maybe let me know what you're into or what your scent journey has been. I'd love to know what that is in the comments down below, and I will 100% respond. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Bye. <music>